So I said, um, as a new trader, how much should I save before trading? Um, you should save enough to buy education. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's pretty much the main thing. You pretty much um going to be saving to invest in education first, and then you could you know play with the markets. But I wouldn't say just save up just to invest into a an account. I said, I, I'm seeing the SVJs a lot now. Do you think it's overrated? No, the SVJs is definitely not overrated, honestly. It's, it's a wicked car. Um, yeah, it's, it's beyond, um, I would say it's underrated as far as looks and performance and that kind of stuff as, as well. But um, I still have all my, my SVJ parts, so that when I do buy another SVJ, I'm going to put all my parts on, on that car anyway, so. Q, best beginner, best advice for a beginner, um, what and what not in short. Um, the best advice for a beginner, I will say, again, invest in education. Everything else comes after. Um, people try to actually not spend money on, it, on education and expect to make money. In reality, it's not going to really happen too much. It, it, you might make some kind of money, but at the same time, like I don't think that you're going to make the kind of money that you think that you're going to make based on you not having the ability to actually see um, and comprehend the markets as you should and that kind of stuff. So I think just it's better to save up to spend money on education more than likely um, and then pretty much you know worry about actually investing in an account and, and, and trying to invest into like the other parts of trading and that kind of stuff. But the education is going to take you quite a while, probably like about three, four, five, six months to even comprehend it enough to feel confident to even like, you know, get on like a live, a live account and that kind of stuff.